Hey guys, what's up? Only is me feet here, and I have a very special duel with you today. I have with me Siggy. What's up, Siggy? What up? How's it going? Awesome. How are you doing today, man? Pretty good. Sweet. So, uh, I guess we should talk about Black Ops 2 today, right? It's the main topic of conversation. Obviously, they have their oh, yeah. live stream going on with their multiplayer stuff and some different game modes that they're introducing. Yeah, Gamescom 2012. Pretty awesome. Yep. So what do you think yeah. so far? Are you excited for the game, or do you think we're... Hell no. Like, no. Right? no uh, left that much of a bad taste? Yeah, I mean, it just looks so much like uh, Black Ops 1, and I really hate the colors in the game. Like, I don't know why that's so important, but the colors just look really dull, worse than Black Ops 1, in my opinion. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I, I talked to NASA, so we had a conversation about the colors. Uh, yeah. He liked it better, though, than Modern for 3 colors, because Modern for 3 colors were very dull, also, with the dark yeah. greenish yeah, blacks, dull. you know, stuff real dark. Yeah. This, this has a little bit more sunlight, but yeah, so far, the, the maps they showed just looks like it looks like they were trying hard to copy hard hat and <laughs> yeah and uh and terminal or something i'm not terminal afghan that <laughs> from Modern yeah. Warfare 2 but yeah that turbine map looks similar to the afghan yeah totally but yeah the maps also look really big but uh we were talking and uh it seems like there's going to be like uh 3v3 v3 v3 or something yeah like, that multiple team to, that those those game modes look pretty cool because that yeah. was one thing i liked about Modern Warfare 3 as much as you know it's been panned they did yeah. introduce some cool stuff like 3v3 mode and i think it's oh, cool yeah. having it to where it's 3v3 3, you know times six whatever it is yeah. because it'll make it to where you always get those people when you go into lobbies oh if i had my crew with me or if i had my crew, well now you could actually have a a setup to where we'll see which crew is better <laughs> Yeah, less people too. Like you don't need a party of six to uh, dominate. Like exactly. you only have a couple friends with you. Exactly. Yeah, because I don't have that many. F it's just really me, my cousin, and my brother that play much on Modern Warfare Three. So it'll be nice to just have us three and not get smoked by a clan of six every time. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'll be really neat to do. Yeah. But uh, the multiplayer looks. I don't know. It just looks so similar. And I mean, it has to though. But I don't know. I was hoping for more futuristic type things, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I get like, what you're saying. Like, the engine. Now, I did notice, though, as far as... Because I've, I've actually tried to play Black Ops the other day again just to kind of get a feel for it in anticipation oh, yeah. of the new game. And Black yeah. Ops just moves so much slower than Modern Warfare 3 as far as movement goes. And I just hope yeah. that, that Black Ops 2, it looks anyway so far from what I've seen, looks pretty fast-paced, you know. So yeah. at least the movement looks like it would be better. But, yeah, yeah, you're right, the engine does kind of look the same. I've noticed some of the animations looked about the same. And I think that's a problem with a lot of the, the franchise itself, Call of Duty, is that they're so worried about making sure that they have a, a game ready every two years, or, you know, one year for each game, yeah. time, you know, each company, that I think they kind of are forced to just work with what they have instead of creating a whole new engine. I, I always thought that maybe one of the Call of Duty franchises, maybe Marvel, you know, uh, Infinity Ward, for example, Maybe they should just take the time, especially since everybody panned Modern for 3, just yeah. say, hey, you know what, we're not going to come out with one for 2014, yeah. we're going to take our time, we're going to, you know, build from scratch a whole new engine and get the game out there, you know, whatever it's called in the future, but... Oh, yeah. But yeah, I totally agree with you there. I think, actually, Call of Duty should not come out until next gen, and they should just work from here all the way to the next gen on, like... You know how where the franchise should go. We need another Call of Duty Four, I think, for the new games. They need to innovate again, like that, in my opinion. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But yeah, so I mean, I mean, so far from what we've seen, obviously a lot of YouTube channels have been posting also some of the multiplayer games. Yeah, I mean, not me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot. Of, I don't know how everybody got the hold of this. Funny thing is, I've been seeing people say that it's their gameplay. <laughs> yeah, well, it's BS, of course. But I mean, I from what I've seen, you know, I just it's just more of being excited about a new game. You know, obviously a lot of people were very disappointed in Modern Warfare 3 for numerous reasons. Oh yeah, I, I'm with them. Uh, just not a good game overall, not fun at all. I think that's the big thing with MW3. It's just not fun for some reason. I mean, yeah. anyways. No, I, I get that. I mean, I, I yeah. certainly understand because whenever I was playing Black Ops, you know, as much as black ops i don't like now but whenever i was playing it i remember it being a lot a lot of fun to where i actually 
wanted to come home, you know, from work and play it. You know what I mean? So yeah. that everybody get together. We send our text messages, whatever, Skype, say, hey, jump on. It's not yeah. like that with Modern Warfare 3 where you just kind of on there and just hope somebody's there. Yeah, I'm trying to sell my copy actually right now. Hopefully, <laughs> I'll be able to get a sale on this soon. Yeah, because don't 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 go to GameStop though. They'll rip you off. They'll probably give oh, you yeah, ten totally, bucks for it. Totally not selling there, man. Yeah, but uh, Black Ops too. I mean, what I was talking about on Twitter yesterday is zombies, and we don't really have a lot of information on that. But in my opinion, I think zombies is kind of getting way too complex do you agree with that or that is a very good interesting point because that's the one thing they didn't reveal obviously is some zombie information yeah. i honestly think that or i or i think that what they're probably going to do not necessarily that they hope they do yeah everybody loves zombies from black ops one or you know the treyarch games period yeah the, um, totally. i could see them making money just by taking zombies out and making it a game on its own and yeah, they, I think they could do that. And I, I think that maybe they should do that if they're worried about lag or anything like that, since obviously it looks like dedicated servers are still not going to happen in this franchise. Oh, yeah, that sucks. So, I mean, that's going to be a lot of stuff, having theater mode and combat training, um, all these different game modes for multiplayer, and then on top of that have zombies and all the new features of zombies. I'm imagining there's going to be all kinds of new features with zombies also. Yeah. So it's just going to be too much for for it to uh, handle on a little disc, you know what I mean? Yeah, on a 6 gigabyte Xbox disc, I have no idea how that's going to fit. Like, seriously. Exactly. So, you know, yeah. it'll be very interesting to see if maybe they just go with two discs, you know, maybe have the game, you know, because, you know, remember when Gran Turismo 2 came out for PlayStation 2? Oh, yeah. You know, it had two discs, arcade and then the uh, simulation mode. Maybe they'll just do that, have zombies be its own disc. Yeah, and that'd probably I think lead, that'd be good. Probably lead to a whole new generation of zombies. Just make it, just branch it out. Just have its own game, you know, zombies. Yeah, I don't know if I like the direction though. Like, I wasn't fond of uh, the last couple maps in uh, Black Ops One. Like, I thought Ascension was like the best DLC map because it wasn't too complex and it just did everything really well that Zombies is known for. Yeah. But like in Moon, there's so much crap you have to do. It's crazy. Yeah, my favorite one was the. Uh, What's the one with the, the call the, the Land of the Dead guy? Uh, call of the Dead, uh, call George Romero. Yeah, call George Romero, the there yeah. you go. That one was fun with friends. Single player was hard. Uh, yeah, with friends it was fun. I just liked the, the fact that it was pretty easy. Just kind of round up your zombies in one little area. It was, it was good for noobs like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was pretty easy. Uh, that map was all right. But after that, I think uh, the maps dropped in quality a bit. But uh, I still like the World at War maps the best. Maybe I'm just old school, but... Nah, yeah, they need to get back to that. Because, yeah, like you said, th these maps, they kind of all look the same. They look like a mix of Afghan, a mix of, um, what's that one from Black Ops Launch? They just, uh, they all look, yeah. they all look like they're trying to just take whatever their most popular maps were from the past and just remake them into what they have now. Just like Newtown 2025. Uh, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's just going to be a remake. So, I really think this franchise just needs to die like what they're doing with guitar hero they need to do with this franchise i think this i'm pretty sure if this does if this has the same kind of reception as modern for three you might see the franchise just kind of take a break and it should it, it doesn't yeah, need, need to go. make its money you know every every year like like you know like it thinks it's doing but then again you know, that's a lot of money to back away from if they keep making you know billions in the first week yeah that's a yeah they won't do it though because they're going to make, I mean, this is going to be, like, the best-selling game of all time, whether, you know, we like it or not, it's going to happen. Exactly. Yeah, so, I guess we should uh, wrap it up here. Uh, any last words or no, out the channel? No, just, um, oh, my channel is Ziggy Guns, and I also have an old-school channel for old-school games called Ziggy V. That's my original channel. But yeah, so yeah thank, thank you very much. Thanks for having me, or thanks for coming on. See ya. All right, see ya. Peace.